2006, yeah! to the Britney Bikini Biscuit Shots, to celebrity endorsed racism, and to a Congress so bad that only the Bush administration and Paris Hilton make them look more scum buckets. 2006, nobody's gonna miss you. And if you want 10 more reasons why, let's do this week's American Suck Countdown. Number 10. Picking on someone her own bra size at number 10, <gasps> Mariah Carey. <laughs> who was suing porn star Mary Carey for having a similar trademark name. <laughs> you know, Mariah, I don't see the problem here. I mean, I can't imagine anyone confusing you with a trashy-looking, bling-wearing, cleavage-thrusting, talent-challenged pseudo-celebrity. Number nine. As appealing as vomit at number nine, uh. underfed model. <laughs> Restless women whose bones break if they move too fast are about as sexy as a runway show at Dachau. I'll take she over Skeletor any day of the week. Number eight. Giving humans a bad name at number eight, wow. TV animal trainer and sadist Sid Yost, who got his TV star chimps to perform by punching them and giving them electric shock. Ah. I'd like to personally hire NASA to put Yost on a rocket and shoot him through a hole in the space-time continuum that will send him into the future where some talking apes can put their damn dirty hands all over, up and in his ass. Number seven. Worse than Abu Ghraib at number seven, the White House Christmas video. Have you seen this piece of crap? Oh. Letting Bush and his community theater cabinet perform should be against the Geneva Convention. Oh. Hell, waterboarding is like a nice bath compared to the torture of having to watch Karl Rove try to dance. Number six. Mastering the obvious at number six, oh. the Iraq Survey Group, oh. who wasted a lot of paper telling us what we've already known for the last two years. Oh. Iraq is a big ass mess. Awesome. Next up are the ISG Brainiacs, an in depth report revealing that Hollywood starlets are shallow, have eating disorders, and all hate each other like they're still in high school. Number five. Just plain wrong at number five. No. Food sealed in plastic and labeled as fresh. Oh. Maybe they write fresh because soggy, mealy, and shot full of chemicals that pickle your insides <coughs> just didn't fit on the label. Number four. As real as AstroTurf at number four, <coughs> the endlessly promoted love of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. <coughs> Tomcat's latest PR expense is a half a million dollar party to celebrate their recent wedding. Uh, 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 and will Maverick realize that all the money in the world can't buy him out of the crazy gay hole he's dug for himself? Uh, Tom, come out, come out wherever you are. Number three. Stuck up their own bunghole at number three. People who think that the world owes them. <laughs> hey, whiny O entitled, I don't care how much money your daddy gave you, you're gonna end up in the same dirty ground as the rest of us. Meow. So why don't you try a little harder to not be such an asshole on your way? Number two. Paging social services at number two, the train wreck formerly known as Britney Spears. <laughs> Fortunately for the toddler sized white trash lits in the Spears home, Mama Brit is too busy downing Xanax and flashing her mud flaps to add to the brain damage her kids got genetically. <laughs> Who would ever thought that K Fed was the grown up one? Number one. Desperate for attention at number one, Andy Dick. <laughs> whose pale imitation of Michael Richards, screaming the N-word in a comedy club and issuing a pathetic apology, received the exact response Andy's been getting for a while now. Nobody even noticed. Well, it's nice to end 2006 on a dick. Though it isn't the dick who shoots old men in the face with buckshot, but you know what I mean. 2006, you really suck. 2007 has a tough act to follow, but as long as Lindsay, Nicole, Paris, Mel, and anyone in an MTV show, Pete Doherty, and of course George W. Bush, continue to just be themselves, 2007 will suck just as hard as 2006, if not 10% harder, adjusted for inflation. Yippee. The kids suck countdown.